When it comes to athletics, I'm about as good as it gets. I think it's time to show some people just how far reaching this gift I've been blessed with is. I went online, I bought a skateboard. I am your friend Matthew, and this past week, I tried to learn how to do a kickflip. And look, okay, some of you are at home might be saying, hey, Matt, that's way too ambitious. You know, like, geez, it took me months just to buy a skateboard. Well, well, thank God I'm not you, Josh. Yeah, it is pretty ambitious, but that's the whole, like, would you prefer I had a more modest goal? Yeah? Okay, guys, this week, I'm gonna try to stand on my skateboard. Guys, this, this whole, this whole week, I'm gonna try to learn how to thread a needle. Hope I can figure it out. Look, regard, don't think I'm gonna be facing this task alone. I have a very special guest here to help me. Yes, it's Tony Hawk, and yes, I'm gonna be taking his master class, but more than that, he's here, and he's always game to share his wisdom. Isn't that right, Tony? Yeah, Matt. Oh, now stop fucking around and get to it. Oh. <laughs> okay, Tony. I'm fucking petrified. How do I even? Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is fucking terrible. Cause I just know I'm gonna eat shit. And you think about it before it happens. I haven't even, I haven't even tried once. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm so scared. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking break a leg. Oh, what an idiot. The ollie is just jumping on the skateboard. So like, popping it up, this foot comes up and levels it out. Ow, idiot. And then you land on it. We had it for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I'm soaking. Yeah, it's tough. Napping down. I heard it's fucking right, like I actually need food again. Like I just ate so much food. Closest I've got. <laughs> Not that it was any bit close, but for ranking the attempt, <laughs> that was probably the top. Oh! <laughs> We're so close. I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. Yep. Let's fucking go. Let's go! <laughs> I, like, dude, I literally couldn't stand on it when I. <laughs> oh my god! I had this idea for a while because, of, like, when I did the Steph Curry one a couple years ago, but I started watching a guy named Mike Shake, and I, if you haven't seen him, go watch him because he did kind of the same thing where he tried to learn how to kickflip in a week and he did it. He's like super Italian. <laughs> His catchphrase is like, "It's all about practice." <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. My favorite thing he does. I fucking love him. I love him. Uh, I don't know if it's dangerous to ride skateboard in the rain, but we're gonna find out. No, it was really rainy earlier and still is. This could be bad. The, the few ollies that I did really weren't that impressive. I, I feel like I'm pushing hard enough. I just feel like I'm not getting the snap that I want. I also want to be consistent with like being able to ollie whenever I want to. Not like at the library, but I mean like whenever I'm on the board and ready to ollie. Oh, I'm soaked. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh no. Also cake. Oh, I forget how to do it. No, I don't. Now a smart man probably would have realized that this is a finite challenge and went immediately into the kickflips, but, well, I mean, a smarter man probably wouldn't have done the challenge at all, but I mean, you know, I think doing the ollies again was just a comfort thing, because I knew the kickflip was gonna suck tits and was just right around the corner, so I put it off as long as I could. I'm having to, like, re-remind myself to remember to, like, snap the board down, or else I just keep, like, jumping on the board. But I'm only comfortable with, like, a certain amount. Any more pressure and I just feel like I'm gonna jump too high, and it's too unpredictable and that my feet aren't gonna come down and land on the board. Tomorrow we start kickflips. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the kickflip is a grizzly. I'm but a humble salmon, uh, swimming upstream, looking to spawn. And the grizzly is looking to, looking for a fresh meal. All my friends are much, oh fuck. Here's how it's supposed to work. One foot here, 
and one foot here. Pop the board up, pop it up like so. This foot is going to rise diagonally this way and then flipping it this way. And then both feet will uh, and land on it. So I mean, it's that simple. Just like that. Yes. What a lather I have going. I'm so, I'm shining. I'm the movie The Shining. Look what I just did. If you've been around the channel a while, you know that two years ago, I did a video where I took Steph Curry's masterclass. And in it, I contacted masterclass to see if they would sponsor me. And they said no because I wasn't popular enough. Well, now it's two years later and according to their own definition, I am popular enough to be given a sponsorship to. So I sent them an email. Hey you fucks, remember me? I'm the guy who gave you free crest to 400,000 people a couple of years ago. I didn't say exactly that, but regardless, after sending them my message, I waited and I was promptly replied to. You elitist pieces of sh This video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped, don't get masterclass, shave your balls instead. I've been sponsored by Manscaped before, you might even know that, so if you're not in the market for a nut trimmer, you can skip on ahead. But if you do have a hairy groin, stick around for 30 seconds. Manscaped sent me the Lawnmower 4.0 uh, a good few months back now, and I've been using it ever since on my groin. They tell me to say that, but it's actually true, I have. Has it changed my life? No. But does it make cutting the hair around my dick and balls much easier? Yes. I mean it when I say I've not yet got a nick or cut on my dick or nut. It's waterproof, the charges last forever. I want that tight shave so I don't even use a guard. <laughs> I don't actually use a guard, but I just I still don't even nick or cut. I genuinely believe that Manscaped does it very well, and if you're in the market for one, uh, I'd recommend you give it a whirl. You can get 20% off plus free shipping if you use my code COLBO20 at manscaped.com. That's COLBO20 at manscaped.com. The link is in the description. Back to me uh, sucking tits at kickflips. All right, it's... Uh... Back to the old stomping grounds for me. Uh, this is where I first tried to do this, uh, and then I promptly uh, skinned my knee out. Oh. Oh. oh, what a fucking idiot. Why do I think that wasn't gonna happen so fast? But then after that, I actually hurt my other knee, and this is why I couldn't, I, I had to start over. So here we are. So this is kind of the motion that I want to be making. Dragging up the side like this, and spinning it this way. I still haven't been able to even get it moved that way yet. Every time I do it, it seems to be like kicking it forwards or almost heel flipping it the other way. It's frustrating, but I have to keep reminding myself that it's only been a day. So it should take a while. Flip. It's called a kick flip. Kick flip. And it's basically where you jump on the like the you jump on the skateboard, the skateboard follows your feet up. Oh, okay. And then you drag your toe off the front of the skateboard, the skateboard flips, does a full flip, and then you land on it. <laughs> it was gonna break your freaking you took, you, it wasn't you on the skateboard. No, I'm I'm trying to do it. He's trying to do it. He's <laughs> and three days ago I couldn't stand on it. Whenever you see someone, you never see videos of people skateboarding who suck tits at it. You always see people who can skateboard skateboarding. And it's really, look, they make it look easy, obviously. I guess it's like anything though. I mean like, like with, when, with skating on ice, like I learned to do that when I was three years old. So I never really had that fear. I don't remember the fear of learning to skate. I just, ever since I can remember, I could just always skate. I was good at it. But then this, it's like, I feel like when kids start skateboarding, obviously they suck tits at it, but they work at it every day. And then by the time they're six years old, or seven or eight or nine or 10, they can skate with no problem. They can put the board down, move on it, and no one cares. But it's so hard to get to that. I don't know what I was thinking, thinking this wouldn't take that long. Because it looks so easy. It's not. Fucking fuck. Now, 
I know I've been on the internet long enough to know what happens when you show feet. Do I think my feet are worthy of any forum of any kind? No. Maybe gross feet dot holy shit, but people are gross out there. So I'm gonna be very uh, conservative with how much of my foot I show here. I will just show you that I have a bandage. I can already feel you freaks at home going like, let's fucking go. I'm gonna blur out the, my entire foot except for my bandaged big toe. So. There's that. Pretty cool, pretty gross. Does this mean the challenge is over? No, should it? Yes, but I'm just going to wait until it heals and then try again for the last two days. Um, so yeah, that kind of just marked the end of it. Um, no, but to be honest, once my toe healed, the last two days of the challenge, uh, you know, they weren't very interesting. I tried for a few hours on both days, but just didn't see much progress. And to add on to that, I was pretty bummed about it all and was not really having fun anymore. But I think I learned something. Sometimes, you know, you have this idea in your head of things you've never tried, but you think that you could do easily. Like you've seen other people do it and do it quite easily. So you, you look at it and you're like, oh gee, well that looks simple. I bet I could do that with minimal training. Yeah, you might even go as far as to pat yourself on the back and say, yeah, holy shit. I bet I could do that with minimal training. <laughs> I'm an athlete. I bet it would take me no time at all and hardly any effort. I'm not gonna try to do it. That'd be stupid. I just, you know, I just know that it would be easy. Like you get comfy with the thought that you could easily do it even though you know nothing about this new thing until, you know, maybe one day you, you give this new task or skill a go and you realize almost immediately that, you know, it's, it's pretty hard. <laughs> so to preserve your ego, you give up and say that that thing is not meant for you, that you know you just aren't built to skateboard or, or to learn a new language or, or do vape tricks. And then and you feel good again. Because up to this point in your life, any skills you have in your arsenal, you started learning them when you were a kid, or maybe you had to learn them for a job or for school. And you're pretty good at those things that you're good at. So it feels good to just be good at the things you know and not suck at anything new. But what if, you know, you were me a couple weeks ago and you see a handsome Italian man post a YouTube video about learning how to kick flip in a week and you watch it and he succeeds in just three days and you think, okay, that's it. I'm getting a skateboard and I'm learning how to do this. I haven't learned a new, actually fun, really hard skill since I've been probably 13 and I'm gonna see this through. It's gonna suck ass. I'm probably gonna fall a lot. I'm probably gonna get hurt. I'm probably gonna get really mad at myself for being so incapable and my ego is most definitely gonna take a huge hit. But I'm gonna do it. <laughs>